Well, welcome, welcome to uh, Learn with the Expert. We want to get started right away because today you get to meet a world-class expert um, and she is going to share some small strategies that will make a big impact on student learning. So during our time together, we're uh, going to be focusing on supporting social emotional learning with expert Dr. Larea Martinez. Uh, Dr. Martinez is going to share three strategies for you. Um, and for each strategy, we are going to give you three brand new Seesaw lessons, which are ready to go activities that are right in Seesaw that you can use in your classroom right away to support these strategies. I love seeing everybody still joining us. Fantastic. So a few housekeeping uh, items as we dive in. This is being recorded and we will share the recording in a follow up email. It takes about 24 to 48 hours, so please be patient with us. Um, if you have questions during the session that you would like Dr. Martinez to answer, please put them in the Q&A. So right now you're putting stuff in the chat. You'll also see at the bottom a Q&A. When you put your questions in the Q&A, this ensures we will not miss them. It also ensures that if a question goes unanswered because we don't have time to answer it, then we'll reach out after with answers to those questions. So other comments or ideas can be put in the chat, but if you have a formal question, please go ahead and put them in the Q&A. Uh, so to start, um, my name is Tracy Purdy, and I'm the Training and Professional Development Manager here at Seesaw. We actually get to be in the Seesaw headquarters. Allie and I are together. This is a very Hi. unusual, <laughs> unusual thing to be doing, but very fun. I'm a former fourth grade and sixth grade teacher, and I usually am in the Minneapolis area. And I'm Allie, as Tracy said. I am one of the training and professional development specialists here at Seesaw. Um, I also was a former fourth grade teacher as well as fifth grade, and then I was an instructional coach and reading interventionist prior to working at Seesaw. And normally I am in Denver, Colorado. I did see a few people say Colorado, so so excited to have you all here today. Well, great. Let's go ahead and get started and let's meet our expert. Um, Dr. Larea Martinez is an award-winning founder of Heart and Mind Consulting, uh, which is a company that is dedicated to helping schools and organizations integrate SEL, social emotional learning, into their practices, products, and learning communities. Um, she's an educator who's worked with children and adults internationally. Uh, Dr. Martinez is a faculty member at Columbia, Teacher, Columbia University Teachers College, um, educating and aspiring principals in emotional intelligence. Her new book for educators, Teaching with a Heart and Mind, is currently available, and we will, I've got my copy right here, we will be giving away five copies of it at the end of today's session, so stay tuned, and they will be five signed copies as well. Um, she previously was a special education teacher and administrator. She frequently blogs about how to incorporate SEL into teaching practices um, and parenting on her website. And I get these weekly parenting emails and they're so helpful. So welcome, Dr. Larea. We'll put your website in the chat as well. But we are so excited to learn with you today. Thank you so much, Tracy and Ali, for having me. I'm so excited to be here with all of you and to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is how we can incorporate emotions in the classroom. And before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to Seesaw. I had the pleasure of learning about Seesaw through my kindergartner, um, my youngest daughter, who was in distance learning last year. And I learned about a lot about the platform with her and from her. So thank you, CISO, for creating such a tool that teachers could use to support students while they were in distance learning. And now that most students are back in the classroom, that they are able to, um, to use it as well. And shout out to all the participants today. We are maybe like seven days away from going on winter break. And we have a big group of educators tuning in today. So shout out to all of you for making the time to learn about social emotional learning. Social emotional learning, it's a, a topic that is very important to me. I've been researching and studying and um, implementing SEL for many years, and I'm happy to be sharing some of the things that I've learned with all of you today. So I thought um, I would start with this quote from Teaching with the Heart in Mind that says, emotions are an important part of human life and they greatly influence students' readiness for learning. And just as a, as a 
test right here with all of you, I would ask you to just put in the chat, what are some of the emotions that, are bring, that you're bringing to this space today? What's coming up for you as you are connecting with the Zoom meeting? Um, maybe you had a busy day, maybe you had some challenges with students or something happened when you got home. What are you bringing into the room today? So just hop into the chat and tell me, tell us about it. So I see excited and curious, anticipation, gratitude, there's some exhaustion, some fatigue, uh, some curiosity. I love curiosity as a, as a leading emotion for learning. Some people are feeling overwhelmed, scared, intrigued about this topic. So this is, um, all of these emotions are going to influence how you become aware of what's happening in this session and also your ability to pay attention to make connections to what I'll be sharing with you today. So it's important to welcome emotions into the classroom because they guide our attention, they guide uh, how we respond to our surroundings, and they are very important in our role as educators, but also in um, what students bring into the classroom. So a big part of learning about social emotional learning is actually unlearning some of the misconceptions that um, we learn as educators, even just as adults growing up and unlearning some of those misconceptions so we can learn what, it, what is the real purpose of emotions and how we can bring them and bring them alive into our classrooms. Next slide, please. So emotions are data. They are information about what's happening inside in response to an internal or an external stimulus. And once a stimulus has been generated, there is a process to appraise it. Is this positive? Is this negative? Am I under threat? And based on the answer to those questions, there is an emotional response. It's a response that can be felt through our bodies, but it also impacts our behavior and our thought process. So while emotions have these automatic reactions, not everybody reacts the same way, right? Some people are more reactive than others. And you can see um, in your classroom, some students reacting to different experiences uh, faster than others. And also not all, all kids and adults react the same way to the same experiences, right? So it's a, a, a big part about implementing SCL in our classrooms is to notice how uh, different students uh, respond to different situations based on the emotions that they experience and being able to create a space where we can normalize and we can validate a student's experiences. Next slide, please. So today I'll be sharing um, some of the findings from the latest research on human development and effective neuroscience. And I wanna share three particular ways in which emotions impact learning. And then I'll share along those three strategies that you can use to integrate emotions in your instruction. <clears throat> 